Okay, so as of now, I am currently live now. Um, well, as I am doing this live, I am live on um, Facebook, but now this on so, um, First of all, uh, on behalf of myself, I would like to extend um, our deepest condolences to uh, Chad Gaspard and um, Hana Kimura's family. So, um, just a few hours ago, um, uh, took to Twitter and started posted and was able to confirm that um, World of Stardom wrestler Hana Kimura has passed away. And probably this is um, one of, well, one of the saddest week. Um, probably for pro wrestling viewers um, as earlier this week we lost uh, a hero named uh, Shad Gaspard um, but right now um, it was confirmed just a few hours ago that Hana Kimura's reported died at the age of the reason why I have debated this um, going online talk about this is because of what's going on to our society as of late and I'm talking about cyberbullying a lot of people in the wrestling world are more uh, but probably one of the most impactful was between both of these uh, uh, both of these people. I mean, Shad Gaspard, on his last breath, instead of saving himself, he chose to save his son. And then resulted, he had died. While on Hana Kimura's other uh, circumstances, um, apparently, there was, in fact, a suicide note on Twitter that was posted and le later got deleted. Um, and this is what um, it was translated in Twitter, and I quote, Nearly 100 frank opinions every day. I couldn't deny that I was hurt. I'm dead. Thank you for giving me a mother. It was a life I wanted to be loved. Thank you to everyone who supported me. I am sorry. I don't want to be a human anymore. It was a life that I wanted to be loved. Thank you, everyone. I love you. Goodbye. That's hard. Like, um, thinking of someone passing because of suicide. And I read some of the posts. I read on Reddit that um, the cause of death is, in fact, suicide. And because the reason why he, she took her own life is because of cyberbullying. And to be quite honest, um, I am not, I have no right, I should say, to say these things. But to those who had bullied her, like, how dare you? She's only 22 years of age. And she could have thought. She could, could have a great career. You know, um, she was in the business since 2005. She's young. And the way that... And I, I'm trying to correct myself here because um, the first and that I have seen Hana Kimura was the pre-show of the January 4th Wrestle King. 
And by the looks of things here, she should have a... Because number one, she is still young. And she had a lot of sass, a lot of uh, something to prove, wanted to elevate herself and be one of the top performers in Japanese women's wrestling. But probably because of these um, these individuals who bullied her so bad that she had took her own life because of it. I gotta say this. Shame on you. Shame on you for taking Hana Kimura, a bright beacon of light, and snuff that just like that. I mean, how dare you? For those who had commented on Reddit in ICW, uh, for what I, sorry, it's uh, IWC, uh, let me correct myself, that you criticize her. Like, how dare you? How dare you? What, why are you harassing this person? And apparently, and I'm reading this right now uh, based on the sources that I am seeing right now, that two harassers on Instagram has been pub publicized and being called out for cy cyber bullying for for uh cyber bullying Hana Kimura for a long time like how dare you because of you bully bullies and i know for one um the experience and how it felt of being bullied because i've been bullied who does not i mean let's be real here who had an experience of getting bullied not from school, but probably on work, with your friends, with the society, within your community. Like, how dare these people? Because of these people, you, you have a beautiful and fine wrestler with a huge career probably in her future because of you because of you guys you cause a mother to grieve and not be able to see her daughter ever again because of you you have neglected all wrestling fans not only in japan but all around the world who supported Hana Kimura. How dare you? At the age of 22 years old, she could have had a huge career. I, I, I've been saying this. She could have had a great career in New Japan. Um, in Sorry, in Japanese wrestling history. I mean, what are you doing? Why is it you don't know when to shut up? If you don't have any good things to say, why don't bother just keep it to yourselves? Because to be quite honest, to be quite honest with you, I am ashamed that we have to leave um, we have to live in the world and categorize you as human beings. I mean, how would you... I'm being sp speechless right now. Is because
the way that this could have been avoided this could have been avoided to be perfectly honest with you guys we could have avoided a casualty of a person who gets bullied online but because of so much trauma that she has been underappreciated she's being criticized and then took her own life like um i was debating really on recording going on live because this is a sensitive issue that needs to be discussed and the way that and the the way that the wrestlers the ones who have worked with Hana Kimura in Japan even with her uh, short stint in Ring of Honor like This is what, what our society has become. Neglected, neglecting people, criticizing them, bullying them constantly, and getting harassed. And I'm keeping this like per minimum. I'm not here um to rant to, to rant on uh, what's going on but i wanted instead to have to celebrate hana kimura's career hana kimura is a fine pro wrestler who when um she won the DDT Ironman Metalweight Championship back in 2005. She gave the title to her mother, who is at that time wrestling as well. And then, after that, clear path to professional wrestling. And she debuted on... Um, uh, wrestle wrestle one back in 2016 like 2016 if you would look at it it's like man it's, it wasn't that long but how ironic is we are one day one day short up to the death anniversary of owen hart Which is right now, obviously. I, I'm trying, um, I wanted to laugh on uh, probably joking um, about the, the, the people who can, um, when, when they have experienced this, I hope karma gets you. But no, this is a serious, serious issue. That is happening not only for professional wrestling, but also in society. Well, if you did something wrong, well, that's the reason you might get bullied. You might get criticized. But if you haven't done anything wrong, and you're getting bullied to the sense, how dare you? You're being an asshole. And thanks to you assholes that we lost what could have been a huge career from her. She competed at Ring of Honor um, announcing their Woman of, uh, Woman of Honor uh, World Championship back in 2018. She had her match um, uh, on many promotions, predominantly at Stardom. And 
and I really hate that um, we wouldn't be able to see her again because of it. I'm lost for words because this could have been avoided. But I think one thing that had been good is that um, stardom, stardom had announced that they will be stopping their um, their performances indefinitely and probably in a good way to commemorate uh, um, what's the career of Hanakimura. Like, I don't know what to say. And the only thing that we could hope onto this one is this that this this moment would wouldn't happen ever again. Because we do not want that to happen to anybody. To your friend, to your sibling, to your colleagues, to your friends. Because probably without um if cyberbullying was not a thing, well, if bullying in general has been disintegrated to memory, then what good, good of a life, even in a pandemic, what a life we would be on that position. We could have lived better lives. Wow, I am burned out. I've just known this like two to three hours ago about what happened to her. But the only thing that we are assured of is that Hana Kimura not just the wrestler, but the person. She is in a good place. And I pray for God that um, this would not happen anymore. Because what the fuck? up 2020 we have right now not alongside with the freaking pandemic we have deaths left and right we don't even deserve that even if we are dealing with a shitty people we don't fucking deserve it but um speaking of uh death and i have um uh disclosed this earlier that today is may 23rd uh, which is the anniversary of owen hart's death and what a way um i've actually done watching dark sides of wrestling dark side of the ring sorry on um showing clips of owen hart's final days and in my opinion I think it would be best that um, he would not be on the Hall of Fame let's let's not kid ourselves Owen Hart deserves every Hall of Fame that he would be on the position whether it's within the NWA, 
within any type of promotion except for WWE because of their negligence we lost Owen and I could understand what the widow of Owen Hart was trying to tell during the Dark Side of the Ring uh, documentary is that they don't care about the money they care about justice and that someone needs to be account to be held accountable for their actions. Oh God. And for that I am totally waste out. But um, again, um, this is just like I'm venting out. Because this shouldn't happen. Shouldn't have happened. So again, I still uh, I will be trying to up um edit or probably upload. But for now, for for respect as well, um, I will not be uploading or editing anything. Uh, spec for both Hana Kimura and Bad Gaspard. So I'll just I'll just gonna end the vlog here again. Um, posted on uh, YouTube. I actually have this simultaneously recording. Uh, recording this on Facebook Live. Uh, Facebook looking like a bludgering idiot but for now um, again our condolences to um, the people who is being affected by these loss and for um, Hana Kimura's mother Kyoko Kimura I know that it's hard now to deal with the loss, especially if um, by your own daughter who had followed your professional wrestling career. Again, this is Sebi. I'm not going to do the Kenny Omega stuff. Again, show and pay respects to the ones that we have lost today. So again, I'll see you soon. Goodbye and good night.